Hello friends and hello fellow teachers. So today I'm going to show you my Bitmoji classroom. My students really love it because it's like this is the duplicate of our um, physical classroom at school, but because we can't go there, so I made one for them online. So this is very interactive. Almost all the images here are clickable. So they like it. Like if they want to check on the alphabets, when they click it, it will show them a bigger picture of the letters. That's until letter Z from A to Z. <laughs> and also our subjects right here, all the images, you can they can click it if they want to go through to their reading classroom or reading um, assignment. So they can click on that. It will take them to our Google Classroom. They can find their lesson and their assignments here. It's the same with math, science, social studies, and health. So I teach all the subjects right here, but for their specials, um, they have a different teacher, but they can still click on that and it will take them to their assignments. All right, in Google Classroom. So if they want to know about me, more about me, <laughs> um, they can click my Bitmoji photo or image and it will take them to meet the teacher. They can read about my um, favorite, my education and my contact information and my teaching experience. We have a shelf right here. They can click on their schedule if they want, if they forget their schedule. And also the recess time room. They like going to our recess time room because they can play a lot of games right here. Say for example, the Jenga uh, memory Rub Rubik's. I don't know how to say it. And um, also the chess game online. And checkers tetris if they want to draw they want to go to abc uh, and also during our um breaks we go to just dance for our brain breaks <laughs> move 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 their body they like to dance <laughs> all right and what else um this is also their favorite our math our virtual math manipulatives if they need help to count or add or subtract, they go find the counters that they prefer. We have here the counters, um, cubes, um, the bears, 10 frame. We also have a 100 chart. The, if our lesson's about money, we can use this, um, you know, this math manipulatives about money, counting monies. And also we have calculators, digital clock, and the temperature. It's a lot. <laughs> All right. And another thing that I really like is our online library. It's, again, another duplicate of my classroom in Allenwood. We have books right here that is organized based on their genre. So if my students are interested to learn about fairy tale, this is um, the link that I gave them so they can read, you know, fairy tale books. And if they want to read about poetry, folk tale, or fantasy, nonfiction, they can just click on it and it will take them to a link that will show them the books. All right. We also have here, let me go back, the parent, the parents' corner. Whatever information the parents need that is important, they can find it here. And our students' corner, if they want to go to Clever, their class dojo, to my Zoom class, and um, to their uh, Google Classroom, they can also click on that. <laughs> yes, all right. And no, another thing is we also have a word wall. So right here, if they forget the word, the spelling of the word, they can go back to the word wall and check the spelling. Sometimes we decide what word to put in here based on our lesson for that day. So they help me to put the words 
which um, letter shouldn't belong to. <laughs> we also have a digital notebook. So all these digital no digital notebooks right here um, are modeling them how to organize their notebooks because sometimes they write everywhere on their notebooks. So I taught them, I teach them um, how to organize it from table of contents like the page number, um, the lesson of the day, and the date. Say for example, um, unit 2.0 day one, they can put it on page three. They can also write the date right there. So it's organized. So when we come back to the classroom, we can check on it. I can check on it and see that they really did their work. So. This is our um, reading classroom right here. It's similar to my um, main Bitmoji classroom. It's just that on our board, I can write our um, morning message or our message of the day before we start our lesson. And also, this is my math classroom, virtual classroom. Instead of alphabets, I put um, number line. So right here is just like 1 to 30. But if you click the link, it will take them to number lines that is to the number line that is until 100. All right. We also have digital clock. But right here, a sofa, just in case I'm tired and miss it down. And then the 100 chart. And make it as cozy looking as possible and I hope you guys get some was able to get some ideas on how to make your online learning fun if you have any questions just don't hesitate to message me thank you and see you next time